Most people in life are wondering, how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having? Well, if you don't have a life, if someone has cyber hacked you to the ground, if they've taken over your identity in identity theft, or if they've really put you into a problem with police brutality, then you have to wonder who's monkeying with your technology. You see, underneath the International Human Rights Declaration, we all have the right to access information and technology. But there's always some communications officer somewhere who thinks that they are in control of the world and the universe. When I was staying outside the JSM building in the shade, trying to be out of the way of the main street traffic and the foot traffic, I actually had my actual power cord to my personal computer stolen from me. Some monkey ass actually traded my power cord out for theirs. It was pretty obvious because my power cord had a green light on it, and the one that was replaced with it not only didn't work, but had no green light on it. It was pretty upsetting to me. It took me several months before someone could help me to get the right kind of cord that might just possibly work for me. I had the same problem with my cell phone where people kept monkeying in and out of my property bags at night in my camping grounds and stealing the cords that the Lord had actually led me to to utilize. You know, God is an amazing God, that God in this heaven and earth knows where every human being is, every piece of property that a human being has created, and everything that's been thrown away in a ridiculous either selfishness or impatience or just a desire for something better. We need better recycling programs today is absolutely true, but the truth is when I'm channeling to you from the house of the Lord, you better pay attention. Because God only chooses people he wants to choose. He doesn't let everybody have these gifts is not true. If you don't want these gifts, don't take the gifts. But if you want the gifts and you humble yourself before the Lord and you say, I am humbled to receive the advice, the help, the food, the things that I need from the Lord. And sometimes the things we want are not the things we need. And sometimes the things we need are not the things that we really should want. But in life, we have to know who we are. And if we don't know who we are today, then we don't know who we are. As a nation, we are one nation, indivisible under one God. Whether our religion is something different, it doesn't matter because God made that Tower of Battle and he split all the nations of the world. But everyone's different languages didn't stop us from coming across the seas to meet one another, fall in love with one another, or actually be peace at peace with one another like the Dalai Lama talks about. What a marvelous man who speaks multiple languages, almost eight, I think. And that's amazing to me. How can you keep all that in your mind straight? I struggle just between the two or three little languages that I sort of know. And openly, that's sort of humbling for me because I am a master instructor of the Japanese language. But the truth is, when I talk to my own children, a Japanese young man, he would still have the right as a true native citizen of that land to correct me if I made a mistake. And he'd just say, hey, man, you made a mistake here, and it's really this. And his mom would do the same thing for me, the woman that I love for many years. But what I'm saying to you is that in life we can make mistakes. But when we make intentional attacks on people's lives, we lose our rights. And we lose our rights to a lot of things. We lose our rights to the blessings of the Lord. We lose our rights to the opportunities that God had planned for us, our entire birthright. And openly there is an Ashkaga record, which isn't called that. And it's kind of like the book of the Lord that says what's going to happen in our life. But when we get monkeyed by other human beings who think they're going to play God in our life, not only do their lives shift to being enslaved to the game they're playing in, the ridiculous stalking, the religious ridiculous mobbing, the abuse of other people's bodies and limbs and arms and whatever the heck they're doing to them. In my case, a lot of abuse, psychological, emotional, physical now, and other things, even sexual. I'm telling you, you ruined your life. You're not only going to hell after in the afterlife, but you've ruined your entire family's lives because what you're doing, somebody knows about. Therefore, they're aiding and abetting what you're doing. Aiding and abetting is a legal term. I'm not an expert in things, but I usually look things up, I read things, I do things, and I learn things, and I continue my life. If you're not smart enough to do that, don't blame me for that. That's on your life. If you got to steal from me intellectual property, then you're the moron. Because what you're saying is that God doesn't exist in your life. What you're saying is that God can't teach you what you're great at, that God can't tell you what to do, that God can't give you any information because you're too busy stealing for you. So what I'm saying to you is stop monkeying with God's plan for you. Get on your track with God. And if you're with the wrong person in life, it's obvious. They're making you steal. They're making you do stupid stuff. They're making you put stuff in your mouth that you don't want, if you know what I mean. And what I'm saying to you, if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't taste right, then it's not right. And if God is shouting at you, get out, it means get the hell out of wherever the heck you are. Because God is tired of your bullshit thinking you are God. You're not God, and he can monkey your life into the ground if you don't listen to him. I know the two times in life that I didn't listen to him because I was just exhausted. I was tired of running around. I was tired of moving at his will that I literally got monkeyed for the rest of my life. And it's been a horrible experience since because of people just wanting to play God in my life who don't have any rights to my life. Underneath the International Human Rights Channel, 
a declaration that was produced by our nation with other nations, almost 400. We have the right to be who we are. We have the right to worship how we want to worship as long as we're not abusing animals and doing stupid shit with snakes and whatnot that is immoral and illegal and highly, highly evil. What I'm saying to you is that God has rules on the world. And if you're not listening to God, if you're not professing the Lord's name, if you're not praising God, and I've got a great piece on praising God, it's not really mine, it's the angels, and it's a lot of fun for me to do, that hopefully you'll hear me someday do that work. But I'm waiting for my love, and my love is being monkeyed with just as much as I've been. And I don't like that. My old love has probably been monkeyed with too, and I don't like that. But in life, we've got moments of time to tell people what's real. What's real is the Lord God above knows every little stupid shit game cheat you're going to play on the world. And if you're the man that beat me down, good luck with that because God is going to take it out on you for the rest of your life. That you thought you could break and stomp on a man's head to crack his skull, to interfere with his cranium, and to see how his brain functions. And I'm telling you, little black man, I'm coming for you because the police did not do their job. But it won't be me coming. It'll be someone else that God sends to teach you the biggest motherfucking lesson of your life. If you're monkeying with my life, you're going to lose something. You're going to lose a child. You're going to lose a wife. You're going to lose somebody who gets tired of your bullshit. That you think you're Lord of all and you're not. And God will teach you to humble yourself to the Lord. And if you haven't humbled yourself to the Lord, putting yourself down on your knees, down to your carpet, down to your wood floors, down to whatever towel you live on, you're a fool. Because you don't know anything about God. But I can show you the energy of God, but you'll call it the wind. You'll call it the breeze. You'll call it anything but God. And what a fool you are today. That if you don't know, the Holy Ghost can help you to find everything you need in life. You're a fool today. Thanks for listening.